According to Hyrule Historia, there are a lot of Zelda games. And according to Wikipedia, there are a lot of colors. So what if we put those together? Well, <laughs> today we're doing just that by going through every mainline Zelda game and showing you which color represents each game. It's gonna be silly and it hopefully will be fun. No more lollygagging, let's go. Starting off, we have the original Legend of Zelda for the NES, which is Tiger's Eye Brown, based on the items, title screen, scenery, box art, and clothing of our hero in green. Well, um, and brown. It's a super brown game. Zelda 2 Adventure of Link is Rufus Red, AKA the color of the game over screen, which you are going to be seeing a lot of while playing this game. A Link to the Past it took a little bit of liberty with, it is Crayola Magenta, in honor of Link's awesome hairdo. Link's Awakening is pistachio green and tea green, since it was on the Game Boy, which was all green scaled. Oh, okay. Ocarina of Time was the hardest game to pick a color for. At first, I wanted to use dark blue because of the Helian Shield, but there's a game later on the list that already uses that color. I also considered light blue, since that's the color of Navi, but that didn't seem right to me. Eventually, I settled on forest green, which is the color of Link's tunic, the Kokiri Forest, and is kind of similar to the color of Hyrule Field. Majora's Mask was much easier to choose a color for. It is dark violet due to the game's logo, the iconic mask itself, and the Happy Mask Salesman. By the way, I heard a study yesterday which says people have this thing called opinions. <laughs> Sounds spooky, but trust me, they're all right. If you have an opinion about which color represents each Zelda game best, then share it in the comment section. I think it'll be fun to see which colors people connect with their favorite games. Oracle of Seasons is a foursome. Each of the colors is based on the logos that appear when you switch seasons. So spring is emerald green, summer is imperial red, fall is saffron brown, and winter is maya blue. Oracle of Ages is the same, except with time travel. The present day is represented by neon blue, and warping to the past is represented by, um, safety orange? What, what kind of name is this? Who came up with this name? It wasn't you, was it? It was you. You failed me, Wikipedia, you failed me. Based on the suggestion of a friend, Four Swords is yellow. The color comes from the title screen, the level select menu, and the hilt of the Four Sword. This probably threw you for a loop. I made Wind Waker, the game with tons of blue stuff, red. Ironic, is it not? To be fair, there are lots of red things, although they're not obvious at first glance. Take, for example, the King of Red Lions, the King of Hyrule, Tetra's Scarf, Valu, Ganondorf's Pompadour, Medley's Pompadour, and All-Purpose Bait. Think of the color red as an accent to the sea of blue. It also reminds me of a sub, as in a submarine. It definitely not sub button. <coughs> Just throwing that out there. Four Swords Adventure is black. The reason it's black is because of the edgy box art and the presence of Shadow Lynx, one of the main enemies in the game. The Minish Cap is Harlequin Green. It just seems right. Twilight Princess took a lot of experimenting to get right. I decided to use two colors, one for the Twilight and one for the Overworld. The Twilight is Persian green to reflect the feeling of being in the Palace of Twilight. And the Overworld is copper because of the rolling hills and dusty landscape. Phantom Hourglass is medium blue, the same color as Linebeck's coat and the hourglass in the official artwork. Spirit Tracks is gold because I am running out of original colors and it kind of matches the trim that is on the train. Skyward Sword is white since a big portion of the game is set in the sky. And, and clouds, those are white, in case you didn't know. A Link Between Worlds is Forest Green and Telemagenta, which represents Hyrule and Low Rule. Technically, we already used Forest Green for Ocarina of Time, but th this game has two colors, so it's kind of different, so I feel all right with this. I feel all right with this if you feel all right with this. Are you all right with this? Okay, good, we'll move on. Inspired by the clothing changing areas of the game, Triforce Heroes is natural color system red. Wait, what the heck? Come on, Wikipedia. Again with the names. Really? Natural color system red. This is the best you got? Ugh, all right, fine, whatever. Breath of the Wild is Dodger Blue, thanks to the champion's tunic and the silent princess flower. Now last, and certainly not least, we have the sequel to Breath of the Wild, which is Aqua Marine aka the color of the voodoo magic hand stuff that's floating around in the trailer. Hopefully I don't look like an idiot for putting this on the list, but we'll just have to wait and see. Remember, if you have a different color selection than me, feel free to share that. It's all right if we have opinions. And hey, maybe you could help us find colors for the spin-off Zelda games. Until I see you next time, have fun, storm of the castle.